Hello, thank you for joining us as we explore how to activate a Dell Chromebook. The Chromebook that you see on the screen is an example of, the, of one of the ones that was provided by the School District of Philadelphia to the students to use as a learning tool. You'll notice that on my screen, we're already at the welcome screen and that the screen is already turned on. Most of the Dell computers will do this. Once you open them, the screen will come on automatically. If that doesn't happen, the power button is over here on the left side of the keyboard. Okay? If you try to push the power button and the screen doesn't come on, you open the Chromebook and the screen doesn't come on, check to make sure that your Chromebook is charged. Okay, so what we're going to do today is we're going to walk through the process of having the Chromebook connect with the School District of Philadelphia's portal. And when we think of a portal, we can think of like a bubble. That is how the, com the computer can interact with the School District of Philadelphia. And once we're inside that bubble, the students don't have to memorize a bunch of usernames and passwords to be able to sign into their different digital learning tools. Okay, this process only has to be done this first time. Once it's connected and activated, every time after that, when the student tries to use the Chromebook, they will just need to log in with their school district of, of Philadelphia email and password. Okay, so a Chromebook is a device that has to use the internet to be able to work. There is no function that the Chromebook can do if it's not connected. Okay, so before you start this process, it's a good idea to have your Wi-Fi network name, to know what the name of your Wi-Fi network is, and also to know its password, if it's password protected. Okay, so let's get started. First thing we're going to do is click Let's Go. All right, and you can see now right away, we're at the, the screen to connect to a network. Okay, so what you'll notice on our screen, and I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit with my camera. Okay, what you'll notice on our screen is that these are the different networks that are nearby to me, to this computer. And the picture next to it tells me how strong the Wi-Fi is with each of those networks. And then there's a real small little picture, and that is a little picture of a lock. What that means is that every one of these networks is controlled by a password. And if you don't know the password, you can't get into it, okay? If you have a network at home, it's a good idea to make sure that you lock it down with a password. That way other people can't use your Wi-Fi without you knowing it. Okay, I'm gonna shift my camera just a little bit so that we can zoom in a little bit more. so that you can see my screen while we go through this process. Okay, so here we are. So I'm gonna click on this for our video today. This is the network we wanna use. It's already selected. That's why it has the gray bar. If I wanted to pick one of the other ones, I would just come and click next to it. I'm gonna click the X here because I don't wanna to connect to that one. So we have this one and I'm going to click next. and it's thinking for a minute. There we are, okay. So the next thing it's going to do, because it is controlled by a password, is it's gonna give me a place where I can type that password in. So let me type that. What you noticed as I was typing is that our connect button turned blue. The other thing that I want to point out is this little icon over here. If you click on that, you'll be able to see what you're typing. So if you're typing your password and it keeps giving you an error, click on the I so that it lets you see what you're typing in, and that way you'll know if you're, if you're typing a letter or a number wrong. Okay, so we're going to click Connect, and you'll see that it says that it's connecting. Then the next screen that's going to come up is the Google Universal Terms of Service. So a Chromebook is a Google tool for learning. It is controlled by the Google operating system and the browser that it uses is Google Chrome. So since everything is Google related, we need to, be, we need to accept these terms. 
So this information is just basically what Google will provide to you as a user. So we'll say accept and continue. Now, at the beginning of the video, I explained the School District of Philadelphia portal is like a bubble. And so what we're doing right now is we're connecting that computer so with the School District of Philadelphia's network so that it recognizes that this is a device that a student is going to be using. All right, so it's complete, so we're gonna click done. The next thing we have to do is sign into our Chromebook. It is absolutely important to make sure that you sign into your Chromebook with the student's school district of Philadelphia information. This is a learning tool for them to use. We don't wanna have any other emails or other things involved in this device. So make sure that when you go through this process, it's the student's school district of Philadelphia username and password that we use. Okay, so I'm gonna click next. All right, so here it's going to ask for the username. Now we know we're doing the right thing because right up here at the top it tells us sso.philsd.org. Okay, so we know we're on the right path because this right here tells me that when my student needs to do their learning, they're not gonna to have to know a bunch of usernames and passwords, they'll just need to know their district ones. Okay, so the username is the student number. If your student doesn't remember, does not remember how to get that number or what that number is, a good place to look is on their report cards. So I have a fake student number that I'm gonna put in right now. Okay, now it asks for a password. This password is not the same one that we used for the Wi-Fi. This password is going to be one that was given to the student by the district or was created by the student. If your child is in grades kindergarten through fifth grade, then the school will give them their passwords. And if your child doesn't know their password, then a good resource, someone to call, is the school or their teacher. If the student is in sixth through 12th grade, they have an opportunity or they had an opportunity when they were at school to create their own passwords. So it really is a responsibility of the student to try to remember what their password was. Okay, so I have my fake password here that I'm going to put in. Now I'm going to click login. Okay, and then we're all set. All right, so from here, a student would click get started and then they would come to the internet and they would be ready to go to Google Classroom or whatever other digital learning tool they needed to use. Remember that this process only has to be done once. From this point forward, anytime the Chromebook is opened up, the student may need to sign in, but then it will be available and ready for use. So just to recap what we talked about, we started by looking at the screen being on and talked about how to turn it on and off by using the power button on the side. We also talked a little bit about troubleshooting. If it still doesn't turn on, make sure that it's plugged in and that it's charged. Okay, so after that, we walked through the activation process. We connected to the internet and we connected to the school district of Philadelphia's portal Remember we said that's like a bubble. It's important that this computer is connected to the portal because that is what makes it easier for the student to access the digital learning tools that they will need to be able to do their schoolwork. Thank you for joining us today.